What's going on? Lawson here. As you can see, it's super windy out today, so doing whatever we can to beat the wind. As you can see, I got a little lapel mic on to kind of cut back from the wind noise you get in the camera mic. And we're going to be throwing artificials today for snook, jack, and tarpon. And we're going to be targeting areas of mangroves and anywhere we can get a break from the wind, essentially. And hopefully I'll be able to show you a few good fish. All right, starting off with a voodoo mullet swim bait right here. About a few nights ago, broke off a nice size tarpon on one of these, and then yesterday lost a nice size snook on one. So I've been losing a lot of fish on them, but I've been getting bites on them too. So hopefully I'll be able to land a snook today on one of these bad boys. All right, got a nice looking pocket up here. I can see some some black shadows sitting up in there. You know, it's hard to tell. Oh. Yeah, I'm on something, something little, the little barracuda just whacked it. Yeah, I guess I can see stuff sitting up there. This isn't really what I was hoping for, but... Little barracuda. Cool. You know, always be... You know, these little ones, barracudas are not going to, like, reach out and bite you, but... As you can see, he's got a, uh, mean set of mean to the jaws on him. Alright, let me get my pliers out and try not hook him because he got all three of the treble hooks in there. <sighs> Come on. Get this thing going. All right, one thing that's going to help you lose less fish when you're out fishing is every time you catch a fish, make sure you check your leader, especially when you're fishing for fish that have sharp teeth, you know, like barracuda, sharks. That goes without saying, but even bass, snook, tarpon, they will rub your leader down really well. So it's probably hard to see in the GoPro, but right there, my leader's frayed right next to the knot. And so I'm going to cut this and retie it, because if a big enough snook hits that, just that little flaw in my leader now will be all it needs to break it off. So make sure you're vigilant about changing your leader after catching, you know, fish that will wear through it. Typically, you know, if I caught a snook that was little like that barracuda, I wouldn't have to change my leader at all. But since barracuda got some sharp old teeth on them, I have to change it. I just tied a pretty crappy knot there. So I'm going to retie that. But always check your leader after each fish. And that will save you the hassle of losing a $9 lure or losing that trophy fish that could have been yours. So that will be my uh, helpful tip for now. Oh, there's a fish. That's a big one. Oh, not a huge one. It's a good snook, though, right there. Ooh. You're going to jump. You're going to jump. Oh, I just spit it right there. Dang. always like to hit before I go in so you just never know. 
Oh, look at that, right inside there, Ryan. I pulled up. I'm going to send this way up in there. Just saw some jack or something hitting already in there. I'm just going to skate this across the top, pretty quick pace. Oh my gosh! Look at that fish! Come on. Yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. Get out of these rocks, baby. Come on. It's not a huge jack, but it's a good one. He's turning me out now. Snook, Jack, and Tarpon, they they chase and mullet through here. But it, like they only start right when it's about to go dark. Like right when the sun finishes setting. there after that tarpon jumped off pretty upset but you know I really pretty much expected it to happen those things rarely ever stay on it wasn't a totally action-packed filled day kind of had to work for my fish but it was fun regardless getting out throwing oh, I'm dying to hook into one of those tarpons and keep it on though hopefully I'll be able to make a video soon of actually landing one of those things and getting in the boat that's the second one in the past two days that I've had on that's jumped off right next to the boat well anyways I hope you guys like the footage and also, I'm going to try to start posting videos twice a week now, probably Wednesdays and Saturdays if I have enough footage. I'm still going to be doing uploads once a week, but hopefully I'll be putting up two. So, look forward to that. See you in the next video.